सर प्लीज सर प्लीज आई डोंट हैव चेंज इफ यू हैव चेंज गिव नो प्लीज इट वर्क्स यू यू बी नाइस टू पीपल पीपल आर नाइस टू यू फर्स्ट यू गो लाइक so you, i don't have change at all so give me the change matlab they also be like why you why you don't have change you give me the change so you flirt your way around <laughs> yeah, not flirt yeah. just be nice okay don't okay. flirt be nice <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah? Yeah. Anything sweet, I can survive on it. Where's our dessert? No, please, no. <laughs> please, no. <laughs> no. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> okay, what's your go-to order on Zomato? Uh, sushis. Um, I love um, just like, like these grilled stuff, um, stir-fry then. Yeah, momos. Name four food dishes that start with letter B. Bindi? <laughs> Um, brinjal, like uh, bindi fry or something. Brinjal fry. Okay. Four, na? Hmm. Ah, ah. Burji. Burji, egg burji, tofu burji, something, something, paneer burji, okay. Nice. Oh, biryani. <laughs> Meeting from Hyderabad. She, <laughs> like, what, she is what? taking help from no, early days. No, full biryani love. Full biryani love. <laughs> you forgot biryani. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, if you can translate the song Sami Sami in Hindi, what would it be like? Uh, so then I'll have to uh, uh, sort of like tell the lyrics of the Hindi Sami Sami only. Oh yeah. Ah. yeah. <laughs> See, I got you back, I got you back. Yes! <laughs> Thank God my brain didn't have to work so much. Thank you. Okay, name a dialogue from your movie that you overuse in real life. Hey Bhagwan. <laughs> Actually, this was one of my co-stars uh, dialogue yeah. in um, one of my previous films and it just recently I've just been using it too many times. I'm like, hey Bhagwan, <laughs> hey Bhagwan, all the time I'm doing this and I'm like, wait, when did I catch this on? Like, you know, yeah. some of these things that you catch on and you sort of like keep repeating it yourself. Okay, one swear word that you use. Sorry, after Bhagwan, I'm just jumping to swear word. but. <laughs> Oh shit! That's okay. hardly a swear word, but okay. I, I have something else, but this is a much milder version, so I said this. Tell us how to make butter chicken in the Kurgi language. I don't even know how to make butter chicken, okay. but let me pretend to make a chicken curry. Okay. okay. First, chicken is boiled, it is cooked, it is cooked, it is mixed, it is <laughs> See, I don't understand. I don't know if you gave okay, the recipe of chicken curry. We Kurgis will understand. We Kurgis okay. will understand. <laughs> but I hope you gave the right recipe. Yeah? They're going to make chicken I, curry. I, I literally just <laughs> told them how to do the chicken. But turning a karta chi, achi, lata pachi ki, full recipe by <laughs> <laughs> uh, A phrase that you use to negotiate with a taxi driver. Sir, please sir. <laughs> please, I don't have change. If you have change, give no. Please. That's it works? It. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, you be nice to people, people are nice to you. First you go like, Sir, you, I don't have change and also give me the change. <laughs> They'll also be like, why you, why you don't have change? You give me the change. Yeah, so you flirt be your nice. way around. Yeah, not flirt, yeah. just be nice. <laughs> okay, don't okay. flirt, be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ashwika, I'm curious to know about your uh, acting journey. How did it happen? Mm, I took part in this thing called the fresh face. Okay. I said okay for this the competition point. because one of my teachers came and told me. So I was like, okay, ma'am, whatever you say. But inside, I didn't want to. So like that, I sort of like took part and we had like state level competition, national level, and I ended up getting the title. So after that, they sort of like put my name, uh, uh, like a photo and a name huh. um, on the front page of Times of India back then. And I was just getting back to my normal college life and everything. And suddenly I got this call from this production house apparently. And I didn't believe because I was like, oh, this is the prank call. Hmm. So I didn't believe this and um, I was like, okay, sir, no, sir, I'm not interested in any film and all of that. I just want to uh, continue my studies now. Tuck. So they tried reaching out to me, asking my teachers, okay, they got to know that I was studying hmm. in Ramaya and they reached out to my teachers to hmm. come and uh, ask, call me for the meeting. So my teachers again, they're like, come, okay, there's this film offer for you, you need to do. Again, I'm bad at saying no. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, ma'am, for you, I'll do. And I went and did this meeting and I don't have, I can't do auditions, man. Mm. Like auditions are my like low. Like I can't even move in front of the camera, strangely. Mm. Like you put me on a scene or anything, I'll do it. But, but if not you, the audition. Yeah, just the audition, just staying in that room yeah. and saying your lines and someone else behind the camera is giving you... Not my thing. Mm. <laughs> so I was like, no, sir, I, do, I don't know like how to act and all. Mm. I've never done something like this. I just want to study and go back. They were like, no, 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 you just talk to us. We'll keep the camera on. 
just let's just see how you conversate and everything and i'm a very expressive person when i talk yeah, to as I people can see. <laughs> people in general yeah. i use my hands a lot yeah. my like everything yeah. <laughs> so they liked it and they were like this is what i want my um, actor to have and i was like okay if if it's that easy then mm. why not and i've always wanted to see what you know like actors lives are like and right. all that so it was just like one film and out but i think on the release of kirik party the immense amount of love that i received that evening i remember the release evening was incredible you know right. like when i walked out of the theater people were just like hooting my name screaming my name and people started recognizing me with that character name yeah more than anything else and one thing led to another and the next thing i know i'm here wow. <laughs> So now I want to know what is an actor's life like now that you are it's, one. <laughs> it's so strange that no matter like I've been in the industry for like four, five, five, six years now, yeah. but I feel like this person who's just starting off in the industry. I'm still there. Like yeah. my brain's not process things after that, you know, that particular time uh, frame. So I'm just like right now. I know that I'm much more disciplined. Yeah. I know I'm much more confident. I know I'm much more um I know what I want with my life. Yeah. Back then I didn't. But how I take on about life is the same since I was in school. Like I just think that industry is like a hostel. Uh everyone knows everyone else. Yeah. You're all one family. You're all like, mm. you know, friends and they're like seniors and juniors and you're you know doing your exams every day sort of like giving it's all like for me in my head i'm still in my hostel still living the college yeah, life I'm even still though still living like, the school life honestly school life. <laughs> even though now you're working with amitabh sir as well as neena ji and yeah, yeah, yeah. tell us more i mean the the trailer looks very very intriguing thank you <laughs> very curious to watch thank the you. film tell me what is it all about um it's a lovely take on um the word goodbye itself okay. it's a sweet family film mm -hmm. um i think for me like being able to have worked with bachchan sir the legend himself is yay <laughs> moment <laughs> i think my parents have finally recognized me as an actor <laughs> because they were like um you know till now i've done so many films yeah. uh, but they were like okay now that you've acted with the yeah. uh, bachchan sir it's like okay now you're an actor yeah. and i'm like thank god finally <laughs> god i've made it <laughs> has your perspective towards life and death changed because the movie is about that isn't um, it i think more than deaths i or life it's just changed the perspective of how i treat my family hmm. um, yeah. and me as an actor before and after has changed so i think this film was sort of like a good um reality check and at the same time it was a very necessary move that i made in my career which uh, i think has just made me a better person yeah i mean we often take our family members for granted yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's think, yeah. it's insane because just like a day with the effort that you make to call them and yeah. just hear their voice and just ask them how are you is yeah. so important and for me as a person words mean a lot to me for anything like even if my uh, well wishers come and say oh my god you know i have created something with your firm or you are an inspiration and that truly genuinely in my heart makes me happy yeah. that's when i started realizing whatever i speak to another person yeah. whatever i the words which come out of me to another person is very important yeah, as well yeah they matter yeah because it's the same same thing you know the other way around so absolutely you've yeah. been living away from your family what's the best advice that they have given you till date nothing is going to be forever hmm. it's all going to end one day but while you're at it have, have a blast fun. yeah <laughs> <laughs> but now you're not the youngest in the family you have an 8 year old sister so I wonder the... what's happening on her plate <laughs> <laughs> who is more pampered now She of course. Yeah. Of course. Now, being away from home doesn't help in being pampered. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> like my sister comes and tells me no they like you more they keep talking about you in the house and everything but every time I go home it's constantly like she's so much better than you when you know you were her age. She's like she's so smart. She's she's like so good with her sports and education. I'm like 16 years gap don't compare <laughs> the 16 years
size gap is a yeah. lot. And the is comparing she... never stops between families. <laughs> like parents do, they be like, she's better than you, she's better than you. When she was your age, she didn't do like this. When uh, she was your age, she's much smarter. I'm like, I'm like a mother. <laughs> Why are you comparing me to my little sister? Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask. Are you more like a sister or mother? Oh, she, my sister sort of like calls me and complains me, uh, complains to me about my mom and also I think I'm the mother figure and my oh. mom is like the most strict and you know, one of those headmistress in the principal sort of vibe. Yeah. You just mentioned you love traveling. Yes. Have you done solo travel? Solo travel, yes. Really? I always do solo travel. And since when have you been doing this? <laughs> Work has taken me to different places okay. um, all these years. And in those years, after my work, I sort of like took two, three days, like two to a week off. And I used to just go on my own. Before becoming an actor and after you No, continue. like before becoming an actor, my parents wouldn't let me travel because they okay. were too nervous. They right. were too scared. But after becoming an actor, of course, like... You you work so much constantly around people that sometimes you just need that self time. Like yeah. otherwise, I have my assistant saying, "Ma'am, you have to wake up this time. You have to eat this uh, meds, or you have to yeah. eat this food and everything constantly." It's like on bickering. <laughs> He's like my mother now. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, you just need some time to just chill, you know. So I take that time, and there's times where I've gotten lost. Mm. There was this time where. Um, I, I sort of like uh, one stranger was like talking to me and he was not letting me go and I'm just like uh, lovely to meet you you're really nice but I gotta go <laughs> <laughs> so all of those moments yeah it's, it's, it's amazing so which has been like the best place you've been to your favorite place um Paris okay like I went solo traveling for a week in Paris and I think like a lot of people didn't know who I was yeah. and it was amazing because you're just going there like completely like no this blue tick wala <laughs> <laughs> treatment you're just going there standing in the queue and everything and because I was traveling solo the funny part was there were like massive queues to go into a, a cafes and bakeries and all that just because I was solo they would come out asking table for one two three yeah. you know I should be like, I'm solo. And they would just walk me <laughs> right past, you know, I would just walk right past all of the rest. And they would all give me like weird, strange looks. And I used to be like, sorry, just traveling solo. Perks of traveling Perks solo. Of traveling solo. <laughs> well, that's a lot of encouragement coming in for all the women out there. Yes, you guys uh, need to like do solo traveling. Yeah, that's like the best <laughs> it's amazing to know that despite being famous you continue to do that yeah yeah, yeah. i'll and always for sure uh, just find this time in a year that i'll just go alone rashmika it's been wonderful talking to you Shame. and we would like you to sign our curly tail champagne oh. glass before we let I you go i was just looking at this through a corner of my eye i was like this looks very fancy now what is this yeah here's a marker i have a very bad hand i think that's fine we'll know now how bad mm. it is <laughs> smart Your handwriting is not all that bad. Oh. As in, this is the ah, bad okay. part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have <laughs> Thank you so much. Job. Thank you. <laughs> I had fun.